In this tutorial, we'll add a Polycom Real Presence Group Series video codec and a sharp display to our Sound Structure DSP that we set up in a previous tutorial. If you're not already logged into Mirror Portal, go to mirror.aviosystems.com and log in. Once logged in, you'll navigate to your organization's site and room, and from there we'll select the equipment pane. Now we'll adjust the screen here and make a more room for equipment. Now let's add a Real Presence Group Series video codec. We'll start by pressing Add. We'll select the equipment and select the model number. We'll enter the IP address of the codec and an administrator password if required. For this design, we want to be able to connect a laptop to the HDMI input of the video codec for local and remote content sharing. Under Video Settings, check the box next to the desired input Select an icon and enter an appropriate label and optional description. We'll also support the people and content video input. And we'll click Add Equipment. Next, let's add a Sharp Aquos display. We'll press Add. Select the Sharp Aquos from the equipment. Select our model number and enter the IP address. Then we'll select Video Inputs. Since the laptop is connected to the video codec for content sharing, we'll enable the sharp input to which the video codec is connected, in this case, HDMI 1. And then we'll click the link Use Sources Connected to Other Equipment. And that's how we get the video codec connected to this HDMI input. And we'll see our inputs that we selected on the codec are available. Our preview of the display menu appears on the right side of the screen. And we can rename the display and reorder inputs on this menu. When done, click Add Equipment. Let's review the user interface on Mirror Connect. On the left are menu items based on the equipment and the options selected from Mirror Portal including the dial pad for dialing calls, recent calls for redialing calls, camera positioning control, and the display menu. Depending upon your equipment and options, you may have more or fewer menu items. On the right side are the audio controls that we saw previously, including microphone mute and room volume. Let's dial another video codec so we can show how our call is launched. To enter an IP address or URL to call, press the keyboard icon to get a full keyboard for entering numbers and letters. Here we'll just enter an IP address on the keypad. And we'll press the codec dial button to dial the video codec interface. Once the call connects, we have a call card that shows the duration of the call and allows us to hang up. If we need to enter DTMF digits, then we can easily do that with the keypad option. The call may be hung up from the call card by pressing the hang up button. If you receive an incoming call, the user interface will let you know there's an incoming call with an option to answer the call or reject it. On the display menu, Mirror Connect will automatically turn on the display when an input is selected and can also start and stop content as necessary on the codec. When content is playing, you have the red circle with the square in it to show you that content has started and you may Press that red circle to stop content. As we'll see in a future tutorial, we can easily enable a power off button to turn off the display, hang up any active calls, reset the volume to the default level, and mute the microphones. This completes our tutorial on adding a display and video conferencing system.